full of good worship with 16 types of paraphernalia, offering prayers to the Lord, becoming his servant, considering the Lord one's best friend, and surrendering everything unto him. In other words, serving him with the body, mind, words, these nine processes are accepted as pure devotional service to the Supreme Lord. One who has described his life in the service of Krishna through these nine methods should be understood to be the most learned person for he has acquired complete knowledge. So we will read the part out. So we are reading the part out on the Canto 7 chapter 5 and the page number is 229 and 228. Shrimad Bhagavatam, this is a very nice narration from Shrimad Bhagavatam. Uh, first Canto 5 chapter 11 number verse, there is this verse called Tadvāga Vishargo Janata Kaviplavo Jasmin Pratishokam Avadda Veti Api Namanna Anantasya Jasho Nita Nita Shinanti Gayanti Ginanti Shadava This verse describes the name, form and qualities of Ananta Deva the ultimate, uh, unlimited Supreme Lord are able to vanquish all the sinful reactions of the entire world. Therefore, even if such verses are improperly composed, devotees hear them, describe them, and accept them as bona fide and authorized. In this connection, Sridhar Swami has remarked that a pure devotee takes advantage of another pure devotee by trying to hear from him about the holy name, form and qualities of the Lord. If there is no such opportunity, he alone chants and hears the Lord's holy name. So, Niraj, this is good for you. When there is nobody, you can read Bhagavatam. Yeah. Just take the mic and read. Krishna will hear you. Mm. Because in the temple, reading of the Bhagavatam, every day Prabhupada wanted this. Because there is two types, one is called uh, Bhagavata Mark and another is called the Bidhi Mark or uh, Pancharatra Mark. In the temple we have to go along with the Pancharatra and Bhagavata Mark. But in this age the Bhagavata Mark is more important because hearing and chanting of the holy name of Krishna and Krishna glories are very very important. Uh, so as long as you go on hearing and chanting, Bhakti Thakur says, that long our life breath is going to go on. Pranachajar Shaditu Kruchar One who has the life, he should preach. He should speak about Krishna. Speaking about Krishna means bringing good environment spiritually. Not only that, it makes it it gives more peace and prosperity in the world. Especially nowadays, there is so many war has been going on. Uh, so many countries trying to fight. China is trying to fight uh, this another small country by Japan, close to Japan. Russia is fighting Ukraine. No, China is also trying to fight India. Pakistan is trying to fight somebody else. Like this, so every country is fighting. There is so much inauspiciousness going on in the world. But this Harikatha, Janatadu Diplavo, Janatadu Diplavo means it can create revolution within the human society. Uh, what kind of revolutions can create? Now it can create the revolution of peace and prosperity. Because people don't have peace. Just like as we see, uh, we are hearing, in the news, if you hear how Russia and Ukraine, they are always talking about peace. For the, the day the war started, they are talking about peace. How to make peace. But I haven't seen any peace. They are just firing and firing and firing. Uh, killing innocent people, uh, butchering innocent people. You know, so much torture is going on in the name of peace talk. Uh, there is no resolution. There is no resolution in the past. They cannot pass because 
but they are all bunch of mini drills. Uh, they are all bunch of mini drills. So this, all these mini drills, the Maya people, they got together. So why, they don't know what is the peace. So they are just dragging themselves to kill each other. They are dragging themselves to kill each other. Uh, why? Because they don't know. They do not talk when they sit, when they put their points on the table. They do not talk or they do not get the idea how to achieve peace from the Shuman Bhagavatam or from Bhagavad Gita or from Puranas. They don't know. They have no idea. Uh, simply by word jugglery, simply by uh, encouraging people to eat better, sleep better, live better, uh, it doesn't give a person to bring peace or prosperity in the world or even their own nation. It's not possible. Uh, simply, they, if today Ukraine and Russia, if they talk about Krishna, if they talk about how to take the teachings from the Bhagavad Gita about peace for no one, then there will be peace. Otherwise, they're just going to keep on fighting like cats and dogs and there will be no result. Unless and until Krishna puts his hand or somebody, some superior decides something. Other they are just going to keep on fighting because it is sometimes addiction. Uh, people, they want to keep their ego, so this addiction, okay, I kill as many people and I become, I will become established, I will have fame, I will have name. Uh, so this is how, you know, they will be listed in the history of the mankind. So I kill so many and so people. Uh, like this is kind of demoniac mentality. But you don't know what you're going to become. Just like Prabhupada said, uh, Jahadar Nehru has become a dog in the Switzerland. He was a great uh, Prime Minister of India, great leader of India. But Prabhupada is a Trikaladash. He can see. And he's saying that this person has become a dog in Switzerland. Why? Because he has no knowledge about the peace formula that Krishna is giving in the Bhagavad Gita. Krishna is saying on the Bhagavad Gita what? Uh, in the Bhagavad Gita he is saying that uh, those who understand my activities, my glorious activities, my name and fame, they actually achieve peace. And then uh, in the another verse of the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna is talking, Brahma Bhuta Prashnatma Nasochati Nathamsati Sama Sarvesh Bhuteshu Mahabhakti Lavati Pra. Sama Sarvesh. One which is equal. Uh, but, every, but every nation they identify with their body, with their nation. Uh, my nation is greater than another, another nation. I am powerful than another nation. I am so and so. Uh, everybody, everything should be, everybody should, everything should be ruled by me, everybody should follow me. In the say, they are always, you know, want to load it over the material nature. So this tendency of loading over the material nature, it is uh, rooted in the heart of every living entity. Even Prabhupada said, even so-called ant, from ant to Lord Brahma, Indra, everybody is trying to load it over the material nature. So as a result, as long as we have this habit of tendency to load it over the material nature, we have to take repeated birth and death. There is no solution. So, this loading over the material nature, which the living entity has got this tendency from time immemorial, that has to be cut up by the torch side of Krishna conscious knowledge, uh, by Divya Jnana. Uh, Divya Gyan Hide Prakashita. In the prayers, the group prayers in the morning, we always pray. Divya Gyan. When you get Divya Gyan by the mercy of the spiritual master, then all the heart knots, which is rooted in the heart, uh, attachment for loading all the materialism that goes away. Uh, then you become humble. Uh, and then you try to uh, serve the other living entity, serve Krishna. 
Otherwise, every little candidate has a tendency to material, worry about the material nature. And this is the biggest problem for the peace formula of this world. Hmm. Russia is thinking, oh, I am supreme power. Why Ukraine should listen to me? They should be under my control. Oh, because he's not listening, so okay. Because I have the power, I take over forcefully. Uh, and kill all the innocent people. This is not a war. This is a crime. The, the leader is supposed to protect the citizen, not to plunder the citizens, their wealth and their life. That is not the duty of an emperor. That is not the duty of a great ruler or powerful nations. So, but it is possible, this peaceful mullah is possible, if simply people can take advantage in hearing and chanting. Uh, Shravanam is called Namanne Anantasya Jasho Nikatanya Shinanti Kayanti Granti Sadhava. Sadhava means sadhu. Sadhu means saintly persons. What they do? They always chant, hear, and glorify the Supreme Lord. Granti Sadhava. This is their life. Tushan Tija, Raman Tija. And when a sadhu sees each other, they talk about Krishna, they hear about Krishna, and they derive great pleasure by hearing and chanting the glories of Krishna. That's why Srimad Bhagavatam should be read every day. Nastra Prayashna Vadreshu Nittam Bhagavata Shiva. Nittam. It is Nitta, it is not one day or two days. Sometimes you see in India, People call it Bhagavad Sakta. Uh, we do Bhagavad Sakta for one week and then as soon as the Sakta is finished, we go gallons of uh, tea, go back and eat meat fish, go back and smoke, go back gamble, go back and drink wine. No. This is what Srimad Bhagavad is not teaching. Vyasadev is saying, Mahamuri Vyasadev is saying, no. Nittam Bhagavad Shiva. Nittam. This is a service to the Supreme Lord. Srimad Bhagavatam is not different from the Supreme Lord. It is not different. So if you hear Srimad Bhagavatam every day, what happens now? Nastra Prashavatra Srimad Bhagavata Shivaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhakti Bhagavati Naishtiki Naishtiki The Naishtiki Bhakti Unadulterate, uncontaminated uh, Devotional service will rise upon the living entity uh, where you can get great peace and prosperity. Mm. Prosperity doesn't mean to develop economic relief. No. Prosperity means to have peace through life. Connecting yourself to devotional service with Krishna. This is called prosperity. Uh, prosperity doesn't mean economic development. Dharma, Artha, Kam. Sometimes we take the wrong way. Prosperity means oh, having a good economy, uh, having a nice, wealthy family. No. If Krishna is not there in a wealthy family, then you are just like another, no, you are just another fallen person. Hmm. People may not like this, but this is what the Srimad Bhagavatam is saying. It may hear very harsh. But these are the words that need to be heard. Otherwise, you don't give up the attachment. The living entities, they say sadhu, the devotee of the Lord, they speak very harsh words to the living entities. Why? Because we are attached. But when they speak heavy words about not to become attached to these material things, it may not satisfy our mind and heart, but it is good for you. It is good for us. Because it will it will cut down our attachment to the material things, material facilities and material enjoyment. So it says that Kirtanam, the hearing of the holy name of has been described above now. Let us try to understand the chanting of the holy name, which is the second item in the con consecutive order. It is recommended that such chanting be performed very loudly. 
whether you want to say anything? Do you have anything to say? Because I think the Zoom time is going up. Can you hear me? So then again, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying, Trinadha Krishna Chena Karurupi Shahishuna Amarina Maradena Kirtani Asadahari. A devotee can very peacefully chant the holy name of the Lord by behaving more humbly than the grass, being tolerant like a tree and offering respect to everyone without expecting honor from anyone else. Such qualification makes it easier to chant the holy name of the Lord. The process of transcendental chanting can be easily performed by anyone, even if one is physically unfit. Classified lower than others, devoid of material qualification, or not at all elevated in terms of pious activities. The chanting of the Holy Name is beneficial and aristocratic work advanced education, beautiful bodily feature, uh, wealth and similar results of pious activities are all unnecessary for advancement in spiritual life. I just mentioned to you this, these things that you don't uh, really encourage people to advance in spiritual life, especially born in a political family, having a lot of richness. Uh, it doesn't really help you in the spiritual life. Because so the so these things were not really helpful for the spiritual life. So if anything which is not helping us in the spiritual life, we should not be attached. Uh, Prabhupada very clearly says that. Uh, the transcendental chanting can be easily performed by anyone, even a sudra, lower, even a dog eater. Uh, anyone can chant the holy name of Krishna and get purified. Even one is a physically unfit. Sometimes you see the layman, he can also chant uh, physically. And sometimes if he cannot speak, but at least in your mind you can chant. Uh, because mind is not, you cannot really curb the mind, it's not possible. So, so sometimes, even if you are physically unfit, if you are, uh, what do you call, if you are uh, physically unfit or down or dull, it doesn't matter, it's still can check. So, and, and even if you are born in a low family, it doesn't matter, still you can chant. And devoid of material qualification. So chanting doesn't need any material qualification. It is devoid of material qualification. Only the qualification that you need to chant the name of Krishna, which is Mahaprabhu saying, Chaitanya Dev is saying that Sraddha Shakti Vishashkilo Sudra Nishta. Krishna Bhakti Pahile Sarva Karma Krita Sardha uh, Main thing is to uh, have faith and respect for the Holy Name and His devotee then you will get this Mahamantra Now uh, Bhakti Gnod Thakur uh, He is beautifully singing a very beautiful song for the morning prayers we sing sometimes. Hari Nama Mahamantra Laut Guma. NHO Shuddhi Maya Nashivara Lagi. Hari Nama Mahamantra Laut Guma. Mahapur saying, I have brought the treasure of Golaka Vindavan and I have brought the real medicine for you all, for all the living entities. What is the real medicine? Hari Nama Mahamantra. Laut Vimagi, NHO Ashuddhi Maya Nashto. I have brought the medicine. And that medicine, we have a material disease. Every one of us in this material world has a material disease. And what is that disease? The disease is to be attached, birth, death, old age, and disease. These are the four diseases that every living entity has to go through and 
the attachment to this material enjoyment. So, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, in his poem, he is writing that NHC or Shruti Maya Nashi Parva. I have brought, Mahaprabhu saying, I have brought the uh, treasure of medicine, and that medicine is the chanting of the Holy Name. And we are all diseased people. So, we all need this medicine of chanting to cure the, our material disease. Uh, so if you want to be, if you want to get cured from the material disease, then we must accept the chanting of the holy name, hearing about Krishna every day, every single day is very essential. Whether collectively or individually, we are encouraging people to read Shrimad Bhagavatam every day. Even if you cannot come to the temple, it's fine. But at least you can study the Shrimad Bhagavatam in your own home, in your own place. It may not be there, anybody is not there, but you can do it yourself. Don't lose your valuable human lifetime unnecessary for only for material self gratification. Use your valuable time for reading the Shiva Bhagavatam, hearing about Krishna. Because this is the thing that is going to help you in your spiritual life. And if you think that the spiritual life is everything to you, then you must take the process seriously. This is what uh, Prabhupada is saying, this is what the Goswamis are saying, this is what the Acharyas are saying, this is what Lord Krishna is saying. Hmm? He is saying, Lord Krishna is saying what? Tadviti pranipatena paripraschina shivaya upadrashtra jnana kenina sattva If you are really serious, then one must seek a bona fide spiritual master and render service unto him. Uh, Render service unto him and serve him with very humble mood. And that self realized person who has seen the truth, he can impart that knowledge to you because he has seen the truth. Because he has seen it. If you go to your doctor, then if you have a disease, if you go to your doctor, then he can cure a disease. But if you have a disease and you don't go to some uh, carpenter, he cannot cure a disease. Because he doesn't know about the medical science. So the spiritual master, he knows the real science of Krishna consciousness and that's why Krishna is saying Tadvidhi Pranipati, Tadvidhi. The vidhi of accepting a spiritual master or accepting devotional service, that is the vidhi. Vidhi is what? Na? Pranipa, Pari Prashna, Sevaya. Pari, Pranipa means we hunger. Uh, Pranipa, Pari Prashna. Then ask questions. And what questions you should ask? No, you should not ask questions how to develop uh, economic development, how to live well, how to eat well. No, you should ask what kind of question? Huh? You should ask questions like who I am, what is the cause of my coming here to this world, what is the cause of my suffering in this world, why I am suffering, and where I am going to go after living this body, where I am going to go. Them in the service of Krishna. 
But to be in devotional service, you don't need all this type of things that the Srimad Bhagavatam is saying. Prabhupada saying the purpose. You don't need to go in a wealthy family. You don't need to have a lot of wealth. Some people think, uh, we have a, sometimes devotees, we think, oh, you go to America, we go here and there, make a lot of money. And then in the old days, I go to Vindam with this money, do bhajan. But to do bhajan, to do devotional, you don't need money actually. Rather, if you have a lot of money, it's a botheration. It is an impediment in devotional service. So that's why it's better that you have less wealth and just try to serve Krishna. Whatever Krishna gives us in his, in his own accords, we are happy with it. Uh, we should use our valuable time more in the service of the Lord. This is what Srimad Bhagavatam said. Hmm? This is not my word, this is Srimad Bhagavatam, this is what Prabhupada said. And they are all experienced in spiritual life. So if you are really looking for Krishna, this is how we have to be. So in Kali Yuga, people are generally short, living extremely bad in their habits and inclined to accept methods of devotional service that are not bona fide. Moreover, they are always disturbed by material condition. And they are mostly unfortunate under the circumstances and performance of other process, Shat Jagna, Dhana, Tapasha and Kriya, sacrifices, charity and so on are not at all possible. Therefore, it is recommended Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Yvake Valam, Kalo Nasteva Nasteva, Nasteva Gatiran Nitha. In this age um, of quarrel and hypocrisy, the only means of deliverance is chanting of the holy name of the Lord. There is no other way, there is no other way, there is no other way. Simply by chanting the holy name of the Lord, one advances perfectly in his spiritual life. This is the best process for su success in life. In other, in other ages, the chanting of the holy name is equally powerful, but especially in this age, Kali Yuga, it is most powerful. So, Krishna Prabhupada gave this Samamana of this uh, Kali Yuga. The, the chanting of the Hare Krishna is there in every Yuga. Uh, it was powerful, but in this age the chanting Hare Krishna is more powerful than in other age. So, if we chant, if we hear about Krishna, uh, then our life will become sublime and uh, will not be attached. Because by chanting, by the pure chanting of the Holy Name day to day, every day, uh, we get purified and we become more attached to Krishna and give up our attachment for material sense gratification. Uh, so chanting is required, hearing of the Shumat Bhagavad is very required. That's what it says, Nostra Prashtra Vrtrish Vittam Bhagavad Shiva. And then what the uh, Chaitanya Chaitanya of Gantakar, Krishna is saying, say, nah, Bhagavad Paragya Bhagavad Sthane, Akanta Asrai Kara Chaitanya Charam. One must take the uh, Lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Lotus feet to be the life and soul. And Bhagavata Paragya Bhagavata Sthane. And what do you do? Now, you study the Shumat Bhagavatam by going, by in the, in the association of Bhagavatam. You cannot understand Bhagavatam in the association of Burmese or Ganges uh, or Mayavadis. It's not possible. Uh, there was a devotee of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his name is Mukunda. Mukunda uh, Prabhu, he was going and hearing Bhagavatam. Such a beautiful topics of Bhagavatam. He was going and hearing Bhagavatam and lecturing in the assembly of Mayavadi. And when Mahaprabhu heard this, Mahaprabhu was very disappointed. He was very, uh, he was not happy with it. And he told one of his devotees that tell Mukunda that I will not see his face for millions of lifetime. And then this devotee went to Mukunda. He said, Mahaprabhu said, he doesn't want to see your face because you are hearing from Bhagavatam. Uh, from a Mayavadi, from a non devotee of Krishna. So he was actually lamenting that Mahaprabhu was saying this. But he knew if God is saying, I am not going to be able to see uh, his, him for millions of lifetime, one in a lifetime. So then at least he had the word that when the word came from this 
Mahama the Supreme Person of God, at least after one million life I can see him. So that means he's thinking, I don't know how many million life have I been past, but at least he's giving me a word that I can see him after one million lifetime. So he became so happy and he was chanting and dancing in ecstasy and up and down, you know, rolling down on the ground. And this devotee went to Mahaprabhu uh, and he told Mahaprabhu that you told me to tell Mukunda that you're going to see him after one million lifetime. But when I told him, he started chanting and dancing, rolling on the ground. Then Mahaprabhu told this devotee, go and bring Mukunda. Go and bring Mukunda. And then he came and told Mukunda Prabhu, please come. Mahaprabhu wants to see you. So that life, one million life, became only few minutes. He got to see Mahaprabhu. Uh, because that is the mercy, because he had the faith on the words of Mahaprabhu. And then later on he never went back to hearing the Shumar Bhagavad or the Sahih Bhagavatam in the assembly of Mayavad. Because Mahaprabhu saying, Mayavadi Hai Krishna Charan Aparadha. Mayavadis are offensive to the Supreme Lord. They are very big offenders. The biggest offender in this world is the Mayavadis at the Lotus Feet of Krishna. Uh, because they claim themselves as God. So that's why Mahaprabhu saying that if you see Mayavadi, you should jump in the river Ganga and take bath and get to you. You should not to talk about hearing. Even by seeing them, uh, you get contamination. Because they are really offensive to the Supreme Lord. That's why Guru Goswami says in the devotion, Kaivalla Narakaya, that the Kaivalla Mukti that the Mayavadis are looking for, it is as good as going to hell. Because there is no activity, there is no transcendental activities, there is no hearing, there is no chanting, it's just getting to merge into some power, light. So Mahaprabhu was not, he wanted his devotees to hear the Srimad Bhagavatam from a devotee in the assembly of devotees, not in the assembly of Mayavadis or Karmis or Ganges. Karmis and Ganges, they can join the class when they were speaking, but they should not recite this word and hear from them. Then your heart will get contamination. Then that, even the Srimad Bhagavad if you hear, is very powerful, it can nullify all your unwanted material anarthas. Anartha means material desire, but it will just create more and more desire. So that's why the devotee should be very careful like when the Mahaprabhu's teaching that one should hear this word Bhagavatam from a bona fide devotee. So I will end here because uh, Anguji, you have any questions? Chanting just like a Balmiki Muni was chanting people, Mara, 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 then yeah. become Rama. <laughs> yeah, Balmiki was very simple because he was killing people and getting their wealth and feeding, maintaining the family. So Balmiki became very simple for doing that robbing. He used to rob people and kill the people. This is very often. You can rob people but you don't give them a life back. 
but he was doing both. He was robbing the people and killing the people. So he became very sensitive. So that's why he had it difficult to chant the names of Ram. So he was chanting, so he was keep on chanting Mara 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 Mara. Then then Mara Mara came up to Rama Rama Rama. The Bhagavad became very famous, he learned the Kabya, Ramayana, Kabya, Itihas. And by the blessings of Lord Brahma, he became such a great devotee that before Lord Ramachandra appeared in this world, he wrote the whole Ramayana. Ramachandra didn't appear at that time, but he wrote the whole Ramayana. By the, uh, the Lord Brahma appeared to him, and he told him, right, Lord will appear in the family of uh, Surya Vamsa. Uh, and will appear in the dynasty of Ikshaku. So you, and you, by doing this service to Lord Ram, you will become a great devotee. And you will be praised by the devotees, so you please do this. Actually, Balmik was a very educated person. He was a very learned person. Even though he became a dark white robber, but he was a very educated But Because of scarcity, because of he was, he was very poor. So he had no other way to maintain his family, so he had to go and rob people. Actual Narad Muni came. Yeah, Narad Muni came and instructed him. Mm. Narad Muni came and instructed him. She told Narad Muni came, he was wearing that bag, so he wanted to rob Narad and I think Parvati both came there. And he wanted to rob them. So then Narad Muni told uh, Ratnakar, his name was Ratnakar Dush. His name was also a very funny name. Ratnakar Dush means <laughs> like a killer. Uh, so he told him, okay, you can take all, whatever you want, I will give, and you can take from me, but before I give you the things, why don't you go and ask your family member that this crime that you bring to maintain your family, why don't you go and ask your family whether they are going to take your sinful activities reaction at the time of death. So he went and asked all his wife, children, parents, nobody said no. This is your karma, you have to pay the price, why I should take? Why we should take it? So that actually struck his mind. And immediately he came back and surrendered to Narada. And then Narada gave him instruction. Go and chant. Go take a bath by the nearby river of Ganga or something. Come back and I will initiate you. And you chant this mantra. So he was giving him the mantra of Lord Rama. Dada Shakta name of Lord Rama. But he couldn't chant. He was so sensitive. Just like we see sometimes these Western devotees from Australia, from, I think from also from Africa. And I, when I was in the young age in my place, they wouldn't even, they could not pronounce the names of Hare Krishna Mantra properly. There was somebody, I see somebody who chant, Grigri Ramana, Krishna Krishna Ramana, they, they couldn't chant. And what kind of, I mean, they had to go through. But because they tried and they tried, they tried. So slowly the chanting came to and they give up the sinful activities. So Dasu, Ratnakar Dasu, even though he was very sinful, but because he chanted the names of Ram, Mara Mara Ram, then Mara Mara he chanted, but he kept on chanting and then the, the name became very pure and he started chanting pure name, Ram, Ram, Ram. And by chanting the Ram, Ram every day for, for many, many years, he became very pure. Determination. Determination. You know, determination is very important in the service of the Lord. Uh, Krishna, uh, Prabhupada gives the example of, in the Bhagavad Gita, uh, of a bird, small bird, because the ocean came and took the eggs away, that he had the eggs, some eggs he laid on the shore, and the ocean waves came and took the eggs away, and the bird became very angry, said, you took my eggs away, I'm going to dry you up, and the ocean was laughing, the ocean was laughing, that this small bird, how is going to drive me up? I am the first person. But he had the determination, I am going to drive you up, he took, my, he took my babies, eggs. So he started with this small, what do you call this? Huh? Big. He started taking a little bit of water and he was putting it on the shore, you know. And the ocean was just laughing, laughing at him. And because he had determination, then the Gurudev came. Gurudev came to help that small bird. 
So yung Burger King, so Ocean became fear. Ocean became fear. The Burger King is very powerful. He's going to drive the ocean. So he gave back his wife. It's, so Prabhupada wants to, uh, through this story, he wants to tell us that if you have determination in the bhakti, even though to cross the designs of Maya is very, very difficult for a living entity. To cross Maya is not possible. But if we have the determination, then Krishna will help us. With his help, we can overcome.